and welcome back to the channel. this video I want to talk about the CES 2024 that was going on or has been going on in Las Vegas and I wasn't there I would like to have been there but I wasn't but I did catch some footage from others that were at the show and of what I did see, which uh, what footage I was able to capture uh, and see, uh, the one thing that stood out for me, bike-wise, is the new Segway. So they have a couple of new e-bikes. Uh, Segway is getting into the e-bike world. Of course, they're. A well-known name so uh, this will be kind of cool and interesting to see uh, how they do in the e-bike uh, world uh, but the one bike that stood out to me is their new one they have two but the one that stood out to me is the one called the Segway Zyber that bike looks fantastic I love the look of it now I don't know what kind of performance it's gonna have I didn't see anybody riding or anything but um, and there's not much known they're not saying a whole lot about this bike I don't know um, a lot about all the uh, at least these specifications on the bike looks wise two thumbs up I love it uh, performance like I say I don't know yet all I know is that the motor, I don't know the voltage, but the motor is a 3000 watt motor. And it's a gearless hub motor. And the bike though they're claiming, the fastest I hear for speed is 20 miles per hour. And I shake my head, I have a hard time believing that they're gonna have that bike with a 3000 watt motor on it only have a max speed of 20 miles per hour now it has a, a top speed we don't know it's unknown but I did hear one person mention um, the top speed being that but I don't think so I think that's just class 2 speed we don't they're, they're you know they're calling it a class 2 but I think that's at least going to be a class three and I think there's probably going to be an off-road option and that's up to you whether you um, turn it to the off-road or unlock it and why would you put a 3000 watt motor on a bike if the bike if you're only gonna have the bike reach a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour you may as well put a 750 watt motor on and charge a lot less money now as far as price goes we do not know uh, the price it's going to be and I'm going to get through here quickly before these cars do so uh, I do know the battery size. I don't know the voltage again, but it is going to be a 1440 amp or uh, watt hours. And there is an option. There will be an option or space for a second battery. So. 
as I mentioned, we don't know the price yet that the bike's going to be, but uh, you can bet based on the name alone, I can tell you just because it's Segway, I think it's going to cost a few bucks. Um, it's not going to be no budget priced bike. The uh, other thing I do know about the bike is that the torque, I heard the torque is going to be 175 Newton meters. That's a lot of torque. So again, are you going to have a torquey bike like that that only reaches 20 miles per hour? It, it claims to uh, reach 20 miles per hour, they're saying, in 2.5 seconds. Well, if it's got, got that kind of torque, that's totally understandable that it, it can reach that. Now, I just can't imagine, though, once again, uh, talking about this. In 2.5 seconds, we get up to 20 miles an hour, then we cut off. I just can't believe that. Check out that uh, ice right there. So, this is a bike to look for uh, down the line here. There, Talking about the second half of the uh, 2024 is when that bike will be available sometime in the second half of the year. So I'll definitely uh, be keeping my eyes on that. I want to see what this final product is going to look like and, and what it has to offer. But like I say, based just on the looks, I love it. Uh, definitely uh, two thumbs up on the looks. So something else, that, that's the one bike that stood out to me uh, that I really like looks wise anyway at the CES show of the ones I've seen. Uh, the other intriguing thing to me was that Reebok is getting into the e-bike game. Uh, E-bikes and e-scooters. I saw several bikes uh, from Re uh, Reebok and also uh, several scooters as well. So that'll be interesting to see uh, how they do in the e-bike world. Again, based just on the name, I think uh, They're going to cost uh, some bucks. I want to turn right at this one. So Reebok is another uh, one to look out for, but for me the intriguing one is that Segway Zyber. Uh, I'll have to see what happens with that. So if you got a comment on the video, maybe you have something you can add. Maybe you know a little bit more about this uh, Segway Zyber and uh, want to put that in the comments and share it with us. That'd be awesome. Or maybe you know a little more about Reebok and their electric bikes. Hello. Maybe uh, 
something else you noticed that the CES, maybe you saw something or some bikes that intrigued you, maybe let us know also in the comments. Or maybe there's something I didn't see that might be interesting. You're looking at this road maybe you're saying that I need a bike that maybe has uh, an option to take off your uh, tires and switch to uh, skis Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thought I would mention a little bit about the Segway Zyber. That's a bike that I definitely want to keep my eye on, see where that goes. And also Reebok introducing e-bikes and e-scooters into their company and uh, so we'll look forward to, th to that in the future too if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you would like to subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button and also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and once again thank you for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one